Okay, here we go. We have this cast aluminum cartridge, which is which comes out of this Philco record player. It's the model L-28 9-41, and I think the 9-41 is September 1941. Um, we're gonna take it. We're gonna drill those rivets out, and then add screws to it later on and then the screws are 256 I think by half inch long they'll go in front and you'll have to cut them off unless you can get them smaller but they were hard to find so first thing we got to do is take the needle out and also the screw you can purchase these needles on eBay. They have low tone, medium tone, and loud tone. Um, they're really cheap. For five, six dollars, you can get a hundred. So, and you can also buy new old stock as well. So, uh, they're really easy to find. But I wouldn't play more than 12, 20 records, maybe at the most. Okay, these rivets got to come off. So we'll go downstairs and take them off. Find a drill that's about the size of these holes right there. I made the mistake of sharpening that drill and it grabbed and broke part of that housing and I'll show you in a few minutes what it did. I'm uh, doing the audio after the fact so I know exactly what's going to happen next. I gotta go downstairs drill those rivets out and what you want to do is just drill the top off so you can just pull the rivet out, not go all the way through. Like I said, this housing is real sensitive. Now, I'm in a hurry here, so I, I just, I don't know why I'm in a hurry, because I'm retired, but I went all the way through, which was not good. See? And it broke part of that housing, I'll show you what happened to that housing. I'll get a closer, close up of the housing itself. It's still usable. Here I, I drill, and I forget about the ground clamp and it's spinning around the uh, drill. Didn't even notice that until after the fact. But here's okay. the housing and what I did to it. It's still usable, I guess. It's not pretty, but it's usable. There it is. So be careful when you're drilling. Uh, I'm probably going to sell this one because I have no use for it really and then uh, we'll go upstairs now and take that puppy apart first we got to pull that one rivet out I ended up using pliers I couldn't couldn't get it out but with a pair of pliers it comes out really easy okay so now We've got, a, we've got all the rivets out. We're going to pull it apart and see what's inside. I'm opening it for the first time. And there's that old crystal element that's really falling apart. And it started falling apart as soon as I opened it. You take all that stuff out of there. All you want to do is keep that front and the electrical plate in the back and put we're going to put a PS, PSO I can't never pronounce excuse me pronounce that element we're going to put a piezo element inside this thing and bring it back to life again keep that piece, keep the front piece, clean it all up, get everything out of there, it's, uh, it's a really easy process really, people are afraid to play with these things but they're so easy, you do a couple and they say oh yeah that, that was easy. Take the old rubber mount 
or the yeah it's all brittle so you can take all that off clean it really good I'm doing everything with as close to the camera as I can so to keep it in focus the camera doesn't want to stay in focus very well well it's a good camera but it has trouble keeping in focus because I'm so close to the camera take all that rubber whole rubber off if you can call it that probably some kind of plastic we gotta remember it's about 40 years old so it's held up it's just that the uh, crystal with the moisture and the heat it, they just don't last and that's all cleaned up basically what you're gonna do is get some of this rubber tape if that's what you want to use you can, I suppose you could use anything but I use this electrical rubber tape it's insulation tape actually Electric, uh, insulation putty tape by Scotch 3M I bought it at CED in California and I'm sure you can probably pick this up either at Home Depot or Lowe's and if not go to any electrical shop industrial electrical shop that sells electrical equipment and wires and things you see you don't need much between the housing and that little stem or shaft there's not much room so you cut, cut a real small strip with this razor blade and then you wrap it around and you just go one time as you can see here I did it one time and it's still a little bit too much I'll try to focus in here see there's some there in the housing but that doesn't hurt anything to have a little more because as long as you can close it and that thing's in the center not going anywhere it's gonna stay for a while don't know how many years but I think you'll be good for a while so once it's closed it's pretty sticky stuff and it stays flexible I've had this tape for years and it's still flexible so and it's been in the heat and the cold and everything else I live in Las Vegas and it's hot and it's been in the garage I normally take one of these uh, little rubber things off there I'm trying to think what I could call it mounts and basically holds the uh, the element okay this is the element I'm going to use it's a little bigger, so I see where my pencil marks are. I need to cut it. I've got different sizes I just purchased over at uh, on eBay. All came from China, and they were they were really inexpensive. So you can purchase those either from China or from anywhere that anybody sells them. This one is 35 millimeter, which is 1.3 inches. I think they said. But again it can be cut it doesn't hurt anything and what you do after you cut it you test it make sure it still works okay, as like you can about see I just here. cut this thing in pieces uh, cut, cut the sides cut the front so it would fit in here and it does fit and I've got it hooked up to a radio and you can hear it as it moves so it's still alive okay. Still working. And just to show you, get it unhooked here. And I'll hook up. This is what it used to look like. But let's hook this one up. Uh, it sounds a little different, but we'll see what it sounds like when uh, I get it all hooked up and put into the uh, cartridge so let's go to the next step okay here we have a jewel case for CDs and that's what I'm going to use for uh, plastic take this off here I'm going to get some sharp scissors and just cut me two little pieces of plastic and then when I get done I'll show you what it looks like see it's cracking all over the place so you gotta watch how you do this but I'll be right back what I've done here is cut two little pieces of plastic that one's centered this one's not but what I do is I use 
Gorilla Glue. I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to put Gorilla, gorilla Glue between each one and glue it all together and I'll leave it overnight and we'll come back to it. Let me refocus here. Go back to it in the morning and then we'll continue this video after it's all put together. Okay, this is the Gorilla Glue, gorilla glue I use. It's a little old so I have to pour it out and uh, use a toothpick like this here like this and just put the, the smallest little dab right on top of here okay because this stuff expands and what I do is also put some in between each here and here it doesn't take much because this stuff really expands and gets hard quick not quick but overnight and I'll put this over here I'll do the other side the same way and then we'll take it from there and I'll show you when it's all done so this is what it looks like when it's done um, I just tested it and it still works and if you're wondering what size this is this is 35 millimeter which is 1.37795 inches okay but I bought them from China and these are 35 and then you've got all sorts of different sizes but the bigger the better if you can fit it in there they tell you not to cut the ceramic part of this thing and that it won't work well it does I haven't had any uh, problems doing that so if that doesn't work for you you can try the smaller ones they'll fit right in there without even cutting them but I don't think they'll be as loud and I think they'll sound too uh too, too much too much high pitch too much treble all right so until tomorrow until this hardens up i will continue this video okay so here we have it it's all done i'm ready to put it together and then give it a test run on the uh, record player you can see this stuff is really hardened up can't even take this off this stuff really works good like I say it expands it's, and I'm getting ready to do another one here put it over here I'm going to use a smaller one and uh, put that one together and give it a shot all right so next frame you'll see this thing being tested on a record Okay, so here it is. I know this record's pretty dirty. It looks pretty dirty in this movie here. Anyway, this is the amplifier I'm using. We're about, not quite halfway. Uh, we're about, I don't know, a little focus in here. See what I'm going Let's just put it on four. And here's my finished product. And I'm touching the wires. That's not good. Let's see if I can do this without... This is not easy with one hand. and do this at the same time. I'll try both hands. So there you have it. And that's all there is to it. And hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe.